Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this just arrived about an hour ago and it is the new Camilla de Erico colouring book. Now as you can see I haven't opened it, the dress is on the other side so I'll be careful but I wanted to open it on camera and I haven't looked at any flip throughs, I've kept away from all the videos. I've seen a couple of sneak peek images, this was months and months ago uh, on Camilla Derrico's actual Instagram page. Anyway, let's just break this open. Looking forward to this one because I know it's dragons. I know it's mythical creatures and stuff. So let's have a see. Ooh. So it's the same format as her other colouring books. The square shape. I like the front cover. As it, it's got the sheen to it, you see. Uh, there's the bottom ones. The bottom ones hasn't, so it's just the, the blue writing at the top. I like these uh, boots as well because the spine is easy to break. So, pop manga, dragons, and other mythical, magical mythical creatures. So, it's on a bright white paper. So yeah, that's what I mean about breaking the spine. I've broke it already though, it's super easy to do. So as same as our other boots as well, there's always a page on that side. There's always a page, oh look at home. Oh, I'm gonna love this, I can just tell. I can just tell. I'm gonna break the spine as I go through this boot because I know how I use her boots. A lot of mixed media, a lot of mixed media, so I need these pages to be more or less flat. I love the feeling of a new book. You can't think, you can't beat that. The feeling of a new book. So yeah, we've got dragons. That's a three-headed dragon. Back with the portraits again. These ones are a little bit more on the sketchier side. Really nice. Really nice. So here's our first double-page spread. A griffin and a dragon. This one, this dragon's got like a what would you call that? Like a big weapon on its tail. A club. A club, that's the word I was looking for. Uh that's weird, isn't it? The octopus on the head, bat's ears, and a pig's body. That's what I'm gonna say. It's a mixture of uh, all sorts of that, isn't it? Another dragon. So definitely, definitely me, Miss Help, I'm going to enjoy doing this one. So we've got little turtles, that's adorable that one, isn't it? Look at this one, the little smiling face. So that looks like, take away, take away the wings, it looks like an iguana or a, a bearded dragon. I don't know about these smiley faces though, and there's one and a half, I'm not sure about them, maybe, maybe they'll disappear on my page, they're quite creeper. Uh, a lovely one, but I wish it didn't have the patterns in the wing, so I was able to add my own. I suppose I could go over the top of it, it's nice, it's nice. I love this one, love this one. So it, its wings have actually turned into flowers on this one. That's really unique, that. Uh, wallpaper page, I can't really see myself colouring this, but you never know, you never know. Oops, a daisy. Uh, yeah, I can't really see myself colouring this one. Uh, but you never know. Uh, that one's adorable. That one's adorable. I'll definitely be colouring that one and that one, actually. So we've got a fur. Uh, I don't know what this is meant to be based on. This reminds me, actually, of uh, Labyrinth. Not, that, not the English film. I can't remember the name of it. Pete's. Pips Labyrinth or something like that. That's what that reminds me of. And we've got a very fat iguana here. I love this one. So he's in like his um, attack pose there. But that same wallpaper background, is that the same? Let me just check. It looks very similar, you see? Very similar. A werewolf, that one is cool, but it's not like a scary werewolf. That it's like he's it, got a quite a cute face, hasn't it? Take away his claws and his uh, 
his claws on his feet as well. That's really cool, that one. And another wolf. So they are really, really sketchy, these still. Really sketchy. <laughs> Look at that one. So they're having a race by the looks of it. Um, I'm thinking that the griffin's winning by the look on her face. <laughs> she does not look like she's having a good time. <laughs> oh, that one's very weird as well. We've got a little bunny with wings coming out of its ears and fangs and antlers and feathers. Scorpion lion, scorpion lion, but with wings. There is a name for that creature. Now I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do the same mistake as the names at the back of the book. No, there's not. See, I did check this time. I did check. Oh, mushrooms. I like colouring mushrooms. And this one's cute as well, isn't it? A little couple. She's just got such a unique style, hasn't she? There's no other books out there that are, are like hers. She's adorable. She reminds me like a gamer girl when they get dressed up and they're like, oh, they're cute. Another double page spread. So it's meant to be, is it an eel? Is it an eel with a mermaid? I really like that one. And then we've got a dragon on all the coins in the world. It's protecting the treasure. That should be out of something out of uh, Shrek. <laughs> And then a dragon with a whole its little babies. How cute are they? Oh my gosh. It'd <laughs> be cute. Uh, a one eyed iguana with wings. <laughs> Another one with a dragon wrapped around its head. And if you don't, if you don't like dragons, you're not going to like this book. That one is cool. Look, it's like half chicken, half girl. And half horse, half girl. That one's so cool. I love these boots as well because look how much of a background you've got to play with. You can do all sorts. All sorts. So we've got hippos with that club tail again and wings. Where on earth she gets the ideas from for these, I have no idea. But they are very, very, very sketchy. I think I've said that a few times now. So a jellyfish, that one's just adorable. Look at the little seals as well on there. That is Falcor from the Never Ending Story. That's what colour he's going to be, Falcor. It's like a creamy colour with shiny scales on him. I bet you that's where she got the inspiration from that one from. <coughs> a flying iguana. <laughs> Those are cute golden iguanas. They do they take away the wings and they just look like iguanas onto me. That's like half serpent or something like that, isn't it? It's got things dripping from its mouth. This one's really nice. With the horse. Really pretty. Back to the portraits again. We've got our lizards again and all these weird creatures. Another double page, is it? No, no, it's not. They're separate. I thought that was a double page then. That one's a bit weird. That one's a seahorse. Oh this is a double page. So we've got our falcar there with his children. <laughs> uh, an octopus shark and a uh, let's call it a seahorse even though I know it's not it's not it sort of is and it's got wings. That's really strange. That's like she got bored at the tail part and thought, you know what, I'm gonna stick a squid or an octopus on the end of that. Iguana, again, with the wings. With a crocodile's nose. That one's pretty good, actually. Another portrait with a griffin. A snake of, a body of a snake and tail of a snake. Snakes coming out of a hair and half a body of a woman. Oh, look at that one, it's like it's creeping up. We're like creeping up. <laughs> that one's cute. So 
I just try and break. I don't like eyes, I don't like eyes like that. Mm. Even though it is good, I have practiced that for different colour eyes. Let's just cover that one up there. I don't like stuff like that. It gives me the heebie jeebies. That one's nice, isn't it? A mermaid. Could do a lovely, like, um, moody background with that one. And you could do a really abstract her as well with this one. I've seen pictures similar to this that she's painted and they look incredible. Incredible. So this is like an ice lizard. And they just remind me of my little pony. Definitely that one in the background. It's a lovely double page spread that one. They're all giving each other a hug. So another wallpaper page that I probably won't get get to. Another horse one. Now that is beautiful that one. Another griffin. That horse one is stunning. More lizards and dragons. I'm just surprised how many dragons and stuff there are in here to be totally honest. I wonder what made her go down, go down that route. Look at her hair, how beautiful is her hair. So this is less sketchy, this one, than some of the previous ones. And that just reminds me of Kirby Roseanne. That world within a world or something, that one. And he's eating a bunch of carrots. So they are, you know, they're on the creepy side, some of them, even though they are quite adorable. I mean, that one is very, very cute. And we're getting to the very end now. So she does, she likes to take an element out of the pitch, like the bow, and add that. There's like the background, same with the bell. And that's the very end page. So overall, I'm quite happy with that. It's not my favourite of them all, I've got to say, even though you'd think that this would have been my favourite. I usually know straight away whether something's going to be one of my favourites. I'm very, very surprised that I'm sitting here and saying that that's not one of my favourites. It's basically full of dragons. I do really, really like it, don't get me wrong. But I think if you've got too much of something that you love, too much of a good thing sort of thing. I like the, the creeping cutie better, I'm going to say, purely because of the variation in it. All the different sorts of pages. Don't get me wrong, you're going to see this on the channel. You're going to see plenty of finished pages in this. But that's my first impressions of the book anyway. Yeah, if you've got too much of a good thing sort of thing. But anyway, if you did um, like this video, please leave me a thumbs up. Expect to see this book in the next week or two on the channel because I can't resist. I can't resist, obviously. Obviously, I might even put a poll up and see if uh, we can pick a page together. But I don't know how many people have got this book yet. That one's lovely, that one. Yep, yeah. I think that's what I'll do. So I will see you in the next one. Bye.